Comfort received should be comfort shared. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Dave Brannan. As Dave stood in the back of the room at a senior citizen center in Palmer, Alaska, listening to his daughter's high school choir sing It Is Well With My Soul, he wondered why Lisa, the choir director, had chosen that song. It had been played at her sister Melissa's funeral, and Lisa knew it was always tough for her dad to hear it without having an emotional response. Dave's musings were interrupted when a man sidled up next to him and said, This is just what I need to hear. Dave introduced himself and then asked why he needed this song. I lost my son Cameron last week in a motorcycle accident, he said. Wow, Dave was so focused on himself that he never considered the needs of others, and God was busy using that song exactly where he wanted it to be used. Dave took his new friend Mac, who worked at the center aside, and they talked about God's care in this toughest time in his life. All around us, people are in need, and sometimes we have to set aside our own feelings and agendas to help them. 2 Corinthians 1.4 reminds us that one way we can do that is to remember how God has comforted us in our trials and troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. How easy it is to be engrossed in our own concerns and forget that someone right next to us might need a prayer, a word of comfort, a hug, or a gift of mercy in Jesus' name. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3-7. through 7. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. If we are distressed, It is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our hope for you is firm, because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. That's today's scripture reading from 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3-7. through And now let's pray together. Lord, help us to see where help is needed and help us to provide that help. Thank you for the comfort you give. Help us to share it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.